Good morning class. Welcome back to grade 3 math. How are you all doing today? Let's learn a few more methods to multiply numbers today. So, we have a question here. Multiply 18 into 25. How do you usually multiply this? You write the multiplicand and the multiplier in proper columns. Then you start multiplying the ones first. You multiply the ones digit of the multiplier with each digit of the multiplicand. Then you get the first product. Then you proceed with the tens digit of the multiplier with each digit of the multiplicand and it goes on like that, right? So let's learn a different method today. Our question is 18 into 25, right? So we know all the multiples of 5 end in either 5 or 0, right? So when you multiply a number with 5 or 0, it's easier, it's comparatively easier, right? So here we have a multiple of 5, which is 25. So I'm going to split this 25 in terms of its factors, in terms of 5. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to rewrite this 25 as 5 into 5. So let's see how 18 can be written, 18 into 25 can also be written as 18 into 5 into 5. See, I have split this 25 in terms of its factors, in terms of the number 5. So, there we have 18 into 25 is equal to 18 into 5 into 5. Clear? Now, we know it doesn't matter even if we change the way we group the numbers when we multiply, it will not make any difference to the final product, right? So, I'm going to regroup these numbers. I'm going to write 18 into 5 into 5. Clear? Now, let's do 18 into 5. What is 18 into 5? 8 5s are 40, right? And we have a carryover in the tens place. Now, 5 1s are 5. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Children, I suggest you, you can do many calculations in your mind itself. It will make your mind sharper and you will be quick with your calculations in all the questions. So, 18 into 5 is 90 and we have a 5, one more number to be multiplied with left. So, 90 into 5. What is 90 into 5? 5 into 0 is 0. Now, 5 nines are 45. See, now we have the product 90 into 5 is equal to 450. So, you didn't have to find out the first product, second product, do the addition of the products. You just did the multiplication in a different way. So, 18 into 25 is equal to 450. So that was one method. Let's see one more method. The same question 18 into 25. Now I'm going to split the number 25 in a different way. See 18 into 25 can also be written as 18 into I'm going to split this 25 as 20 plus 5. We know it's easier to multiply numbers with 10, 100, 1000 or multiples of this. 20 is a multiple of 10, right? Which is also a multiple of 5. So, 18 into 20 plus 5. So, you are multiplying a number with a set of add-ins. So, what you have to do? The add-ins are inside the bracket. So, you have to open the brackets. So how you can do that? We are going to open the bracket. 18 into 20 plus 5. So, let's see how we can open. 18 into 20. You have to multiply this 18 with each of the add-ins inside the bracket. So, it's 18 into 20 plus 18 into 5. There. So, it's 18 into 20 plus 18 into 5. What is 18 into 20? You can write the 0 first. Now, 2 8s are are 16, a carryover 1, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So, 18 into 20 is equal to 360. And what about 18 into 5? 8 5s are 40, a carryover 1 in the tens place, 5 into 1, 5 plus 1, sorry, plus 4, it's 9. So, it is 360 plus 90. Now, let's do this addition in your mind. 0 1s plus 0 1s is 0 1s. Now, 9 tenths plus 6 tenths. 
9 plus 6 is 15. I carry over 1 in the hundreds place. Now, here there are there is no hundred digits, so 3 plus 1, it is 4. So, what is the product? The product is the same 450. So, there we learned two different methods of multiplication, different from the methods we learned earlier in our earlier classes. So, you can go through the topic smart multiplication in page number 61 of your textbook. Once you have done that, please do question number 1a and 2a of exercise. 4.5 which is in the same page. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let's see the questions. Question number 1, use smart multiplication method 1 to find the product. So it's clearly mentioned in the question to use the method 1, the first method we learned today. So what's the question? 28 into 35. How can we do that? 28 into 35. So let's split the multiple of 5 in terms of its factors. So let's rewrite 28 into 35 as 28 into 5 into 7. 35, I split 35 into, I've split 35 into 5 into 7. I could also take 7 into 5, but for the ease of regrouping and multiplying, I've written 5 into 7. Now let's change the way we group. It's 28. 28 into 5 into 7. Now, what is 28 into 5? 8 5s are 40. I carry over to the next place. 5 2s are 10 plus 4. It is 14. Now, there is one more digit to be multiplied into 7. So, there we have 140 into 7. What is 140 into 7? Let's do the multiplication. 140 into 7. So, there is one 0 in the 1's place. So, let's put the 0 first. Now, 7 4's are 28. So, let's write the 8 here and carry over the 2 to the next higher place. Now, 7 1's are 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So, in the 100's place we have 9. So, what is the final product? The final product is equal to 980. I hope your answer is correct. Now, let's see the next question. The question number 2a, use smart multiplication method 2 to find the product. So, it's specified to use the second method we learned today. Let's do this question. 34 into 25. So, Let's split this 25 in terms of its add-ins. So I'm going to rewrite 34 into 25 as 34 into 25 can be split as 20 plus 5. So here we have split 25 in terms of its add-ins. So let's open the bracket now 34 into 20. 34 into 20 is plus 34 into 5. Clear? Now what is 34 into 20? Let's put the 0 first. 34 into 2 now. 2 into 4 is 8. 2 into 3 it is 6. So here, here you have 680 plus what is 34 into 5? 5 4s are 20. I carry over to the tens place. 5 into 3 is 15 plus 2 it's 17. So, what is the final product? Let's add the numbers. 0 1s plus 0 1s is 0 1s itself. 8 tenths plus 7 tenths. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. So, you write the 5 here and carry over 1 to the next place. We have 600s plus 100s which is equal to 700s plus 100. That is equal to 800. So, what is the final product? The final product is 850. So, you can write it here. 34 into 25 is equal to 850. I hope your answer is correct. Now, you can go through the topic once again if you still, uh, is, if you are still not clear with this. And you have to complete the questions 1B to 1H and also the questions 2B to 2H of exercise 4.5. So, that's all for today. We will meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.